Dreams, remember, these are, this is a message. All right? Dreams, this is a message. This is a message from God. Dream, dreams. It's a message that God is communicating to men. It's a message that God is communicating to you. All right. If it is a message, one of the things that you have to put to book is if it is a message, then it is spiritual. All right. If it is a message, it means it is spiritual. Now, this message has got to be conveyed into people, and there is a cycle in which it goes to. It is spiritual. So when this message is spoken, what happens is it is spoken and it is sealed in your spirit. All right? Into what? In your heart, spirit. Spirit of men it is conveyed and it is being spoken into the spirit of a man as it is being spoken into the spirit of a man you have to understand that there is an aspect of you getting to a place where you have to understand what is it that God is saying you understand? So this is your spirit, the internal organs of your spirit, because the message already, we have agreed that when God speaks, it is spiritual. From yesterday, Jesus says, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. All right? So when it is spirit, it will have to go through the channel of you getting to a place where you understand it. All right? So from this, your spirit, it is processed in your heart, in your mind. It is processed in your mind. And this is where a lot of people get it all wrong. It has to be processed in your mind. The moment you are dreaming these dreams, when it goes to, 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 to your spirit man, the message, it has to be processed in your mind. All right? It has to be processed in your mind. And it is on the aspect of, it is on this aspect that one gets to a moment where they find what you call the message or they find the interpretation. All right? Interpreting what? The message. So you will see that this, this cycle that we are talking about is one of the main reasons why the subject of dreams is complicated to a lot of people. This is one of the main reasons why the aspect of dreams becomes very much complicated for people to deal with. Because when you look at this, you'd realize that you'd realize that God speaks 100%, all right? God does not speak in small percentages. His message is 100%. God speaks 100% every time when God speaks, all right? And your spirit, the memory of your spirit captures it well. That is why you'd realize that when you get to a place where you are waking up for, from your dream, there are alerts. Have you ever, have you ever heard those ones? Have you ever heard those ones? An alert that comes that you feel, but I dreamt a dream. That is an alert that is coming from your spirit man. All right? It's an alert coming from your spirit man. But on the processing part, this is where you see people getting to a point where, oh God, this is where you see a lot of people getting to a point where they forget. All right? This is where you see a lot of people getting to a place where they say, I don't remember. <laughs> All right? Let's use red. This is dangerous. A lot of people, they forget on their dreams. Praise God. Praise God. 
a lot of people for, forget their dreams on this aspect of the mind. This is where the battle is. How is the mind, is the mind filled with the word of God? Is the mind filled with the word of God? The channeling of your mind determines how the message will come out. God speaks 100%. The, 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 the spirit captures the message. And it is through the spirit that the message is conveyed into interpretation. So the biggest problem is on the soul here. Where there is the spirit, the mind, and the what? And the emotions. That is where the biggest problem is.